buying a home with my partner but his parents are co-signing and want to be on the deed. I see this ending with everyone on the deed except you. This is a terrible idea for multiple reasons, rent until your situation allows you to purchase a home. For them to take the loan, said 50 of the down payment from you will have to be considered a gift, so you have no house and lose all the money. Either agree for them to buy the house using their own money or wait until you can afford to buy it with your partner. OMG do not sign a gift letter, and do not put yourself in a position where you have to sign a gift letter to get the house. The way you're describing it, your boyfriend and his parents are buying a house. You aren't even part of the picture legally. This was already a bad idea with wanting to buy a house with a partner you aren't married to. It has become an increasingly worse situation with his parents now involved. You should probably just wait until you're both married and in a better financial position to buy a house. If you need a co-signer then you two can't afford it. Either try a new area that's cheaper or go for a cheaper home you can fix up over time. Definitely don't agree to have his parents involved. Yeah, you should have said you were buying a house with your partner and his mom and dad. This is what it is. Why aren't you on the loan? They shouldn't go sign without ownership. Then if you default they're on the hook for payments. You shouldn't buy a home with someone you're not married to because then you're in a very difficult position. As others have said, you must rent until you either can afford to be comfortable with the people on the deed or until you and your partner marry. If you aren't on the loan then you should keep your money, woman shrugging, 50 of a down payment is a lot to have nothing to show for it. They are not being unreasonable in not wanting to be liable for a property in which they have no ownership. I would demand to be an equal owner if I were them. There is no reason you can't also be on the deed but not the mortgage. This would protect your interest. I would caution you that these are classic signs you are buying more house than you can afford. Involving your unmarried boyfriend's family in a long-term real estate purchase is not a smart move. Use some of that money you're thinking of putting up as a down payment for a lawyer. Otherwise, be ready to get taken advantage of again, because the current scenario will leave you with nothing. A simple notary will not suffice in this situation, you need a lawyer in your corner. I cannot too strongly recommend against their proposed course of action. Ask them if they can loan the money as a second mortgage secured by a deed of trust to protect their investment before giving them ownership of an asset you are depending upon to provide for your children. Do not do this. It is a mistake. You need a lawyer, your own lawyer, now. Op you are making the same exact mistake you made with your first marriage. Do not do this, you will get screwed. I don't understand why you keep making excuses on doing it no matter what. Stop this toxic cycle and do something different. Or you'll be stuck having this happen to you time and time again. Where you lose everything and are left picking up the pieces of your life. If you do this, it will be the biggest regret of your entire life. Do not co-sign with his parents, wait until you can save more and look at slightly cheaper properties those are your options. I would wait your name in on the deed you can lose in the end unless you have documents drawn. I wouldn't proceed unless you have some kind of security. Don't put a down payment on there. Are they making payments? If not, then why would they be owners? If one or both of them passes away, probate can be a real issue. I know this is legal advice, but you seem to be dismissing every logical bit of legal advice given. So, at the risk of veering slightly off topic, my recommendation is going to be to sit down with a financial planner. Two teenagers from a past marriage in which you co-owned a home and you walked out with $15. Self-employed, but without more than a year's worth of solid financials because you had a kid last year. This isn't just an issue with your partner's parents, but you seem to be repeatedly setting yourself up for financial ruin. If you can't afford an attorney to help you with custody of your children, you can't afford a whole s house. If you are on the loan but not on the deed you are basically helping to buy a house for your bf and his parents, with no ownership rights yourself. No.
Based on your comments you seem to be happy if your partner and their parents are the only ones on the deed. That is basically going to end with you having no say or control over the property because it won't be yours and they can choose to sell it and not give you a dime. So don't give them 50 of the down payment unless you are on the deed. Even then it's still a bad idea. Hello another option can be to have your partner and his parents buy the home and you pay them whatever you all agree is fair rent. That way you get to keep your down payment. Then, in a year or two, you can buy out any accrued equity from his parents and refinance the mortgage so it's just you and partner. If you must live in this home, I'd advise this instead of what you've proposed above. You're not being forced to do anything here. You can and should say no to this, plain and simple. What is even the point of asking about this when you're clearly dead set in making yet another terrible financial and life decision? Just fuck your shit up already and leave Reddit out of it. Talk to a real estate attorney in person. Just you. This sounds like a terrible arrangement, but here nah. You want to get kicked out on the street with your two older kids? This is how that happens. Just because you put money down, it doesn't mean if you split you get anything. Since you aren't married he could easily claim the 50 was a gift and then it is a court battle. Words of advice I received. Never buy property unless you are married and on the deed. Edit to add if you need a cosigner then you can't actually afford the house. That means in no time you'll probably be out of your life's saving and foreclosed on. Seriously reconsider this whole deal. If you're not on the deed do not put your money down. They bf, his parents, the actual owners of the house, can put it down. Royally bad idea all around. Wish I had advice to offer beyond don't do it. How much in absolute dollars are you OP putting up for down payment? I believe some here are mistaking 50 of the down payment for a 50 down payment. What I mean is, the former might be $50,000 one two of 20 of a 500k house and the other might be $250,000 half of the 500k purchase price. I feel nervous for you. You will end up in the same position as you were in before. You are making the same mistake. How can you put 50 into a home and don't have any title to it? You are anxious now because you don't want to lose your kids and is making you decision in haste. You need to take a step back and reevaluate the situation. Please don't do this. Your post has so many red flags my stomach got very nervous just reading it. See if you can find another rental and give yourself a year and see where you are at financially then. Why are you doing any of this this way? Stop everything right now. You are in no position to buy a home if his controlling parents insist on being on the deed. That's a hard no. It would be 3-1 if anything went south. Take your money out of it and if they want to buy a loan with their son tell them to go for it but do not entangle yourself financially with these people. You have children. If they are on the house and you die the kids get nothing unless they fight them. Don't put your family in that position. You need a real estate lawyer. Do not put one penny out until a contract is signed by all involved. You also both need wills to cover the what if one or both of you die situation. If you are putting 50 you need to be on deed title insurance etc. He can will his half or portion he seems fair to his parents with a caveat about if the house is paid off or mostly paid off the amount changes. A lawyer can help with that. Unfortunately I don't think there's a magic piece of paper that will give you this house and the protection you want. Allowing them on the deed is literally giving them ownership in the property. But your worst move would be to pay the down payment and not be on the deed yourself. Absolutely do not agree to that. No chance. No deal. You will be left with no protection or ownership interest in the property. Cut the parents out and make due with what's available to you and your partner. Find a cheaper house where you don't need to co-signer. Otherwise make the deal with the devil. Don't let them sweet talk you we won't do that etc. Remember these legal things are there as last line of defense and protection for you. What about offering to get a life insurance policy for the size of the mortgage the length of the loan on your lives that has them as the beneficiary? Then they are covered for the mortgage.